In Act 1, Scene 2 of Macbeth, an Irish lord, Macdonwald, has betrayed King Duncan of Scotland in favor of joining the Norwegian king and is now leading a rebellion against the Scots. At a military camp, a wounded captain tells King Duncan about the ongoing battle. He tells him that Macbeth fought his way through the battle and killed Macdonwald. Duncan is pleased until the captain tells him the Norwegians have sent reinforcements. The captain is carted off to attend to his wounds, and the Scottish thanes Ross and Angus arrive to say that Norway tried to take Fife and are being aided by the now traitorous Thane of Cawdor. Macbeth, the Thane of Gloms, pressed on, won the battle, and captured the Thane of Cawdor. Duncan orders the execution of the traitor and makes Macbeth the new Thane of Cawdor. This scene serves to establish Macbeth's character before he meets the witches. Through the captain, Ross, and Angus, the audience learns that Macbeth is a fierce warrior. More importantly, he is extremely loyal to the king, Duncan. Remember, this is not just any battle. This is an attempt to overthrow the king. And not only does Macbeth serve his duty in beating back the opposing forces, he goes above and beyond to seek out the thanes that betrayed the king. Macbeth is clearly driven by the glory of the battlefield, but in this scene, his ambition serves his fierce loyalty to his king, contrasting with the traitorous Macbeth we will soon see.